In this video, I'm going to discuss the uh, concept of Fa Jin, which is explosive power. And uh, it came up because uh, one of our subscribers asked, when do we exhibit Fa Jin in Guo Ling Ying's Guan Ting Tai Chi form? Um, with the kind of popularity of Chen Tai Chi, which has a lot of explosive movements and is very dynamic, I see on YouTube that a lot of people have kind of tried to change their Tai Chi to uh, be more like Chen Tai Chi with kind of showing explosive power. But uh, again, in doing these videos, I'm trying to preserve uh, Master Guo Lingying's legacy and how he taught it. And so um, there's, instead of like changing Sifu's Tai Chi to more like Chen, um, I think it's pretty important to keep the flavor of the original form as he taught it. And so um, I'm going to go through the form and kind of discuss when traditionally, as we learned it in Porcelain Square, when we showed basically more um, kind of dynamic explosive power in the moves. Um, but you have to understand that in every move, the potential for that explosive power is always there. So I'll just do a few moves in the beginning and kind of show you um, how it is there, but it's not necessarily expressed. Uh, if you get carried away and express it too much, then it kind of gets kind of uh, overdone, is the word. So in keeping with the flavor of the original Tai Chi, as uh, Sifu taught it, um, I'll, I'll tell you where it was kind of more traditionally, traditionally I mean it's kind of more acceptable to uh, show that kind of dynamic movement. And you have to kind of remember that during the time of uh, uh, Sifu teaching his uh, Guan Ping, it wasn't called Guan Ping at that time, but this is Yang style Tai Chi from Yang Ban Hao. Um, the popular Tai Chi was more the, the traditional soft Yang style, and uh, Chen hadn't come to America yet at that point. And so even our style of Tai Chi was considered kind of um, more hard than the softer traditional Yang. And um, just doing the double jump kick was kind of considered, oh, is that, is that Tai Chi? You no, know, because it was kind of considered more external. So uh, first I'm going to talk about um, how it's there, but it's not expressed. So, so I'm going to just kind of do a, a first few moves and kind of talk about it a little bit. So, in the opening. So in the first movement, Brass Bird's Tail, it's not really expressed, but it's always there, especially at the end of the move. And that's why, uh, I always emphasize it's important to complete the move to the very finish so don't flow into the next move too soon because if you do that then it looks like it's hard to kind of distinguish between where that Fajin explosive power would be. So again from the opening to the grass bird's tail right there you can feel that. Okay, so he's stepping up into your transition. Single whip. It may not be expressed, but it's always there at the end. And Stork Cool's wings, right there. And then Stork Cool's wings to the right, right there. First knee twist step into Perian Punch, right there. Step back, step up, parent close up, right there again. Perry Tiger the Mountain, Two. and then this under elbow. Each one of those. Then 
slow palm planting flying. Right there. So you can see that it's always there, but it's not necessarily expressed. So as it was taught at Person Square, um, I'm going to show you where we normally kind of have a little more expressive rather than kind of a slow tempo. Again, um, when you're doing the form, you can establish the speed of which you do it. There's no set. You could do a slower form. You could do a little bit faster form. But um, the tempo should kind of remain the same throughout the form, except for these very points where you kind of change it into a little bit more dynamic. And so the first time that we encounter kind of a change in the, the kind of the rhythm from after wave hand like clouds, when you come high, back to high pad on horse, and you come, again, these kicks could be done slow, but then typically they were done pretty fast. into the downward punch and turn into the double jump kick. And so in the double jump kick, because you can't do slow while you're in midair, um, it's got to be done kind of explosive and fast. And so uh, that's where it, it kind of this form during that time that people were teaching looked very different than other Tai Chi styles. It's just because of the double jump kick. So from here, just that double jump kick. And then on these kicks here, the kick was fairly fast in doing it. Again, uh, this video is for People who already know the full form and they're going to have to like uh, know the form well enough to understand where these uh, more um, dynamic movements are in, within the form. Uh, this is not for beginners, more for advanced practitioners that either do this form as it was taught in Portsmouth Square or do a similar form and they can relate their own movements and that variation of their Guan Ping form to uh, Sikhu's original form. I'm just trying to tell you where uh, the, the form was more kind of dynamic and explosive and shows by Jin more than uh, the other parts of it. So uh, getting towards the, this will be right after the second repeat section um, when you go to, uh, to um, by pulling back and step up and then fan through arm. So um, it comes from uh, after we post monkey and then we post monkey, turn, go palm, planting flying, and then step up, raise right hand, turn, raise left hand, and fly pulling back, step up. Fan through the arm. So in this series here, those three movements are done more dynamically as you come around for the block and then push forward, fist to air through sky cannon, and then you go back to the original temple pace and you do wave hand like clouds into single whip now you come back to high pattern horse step out diagonally crossing the water Really kick is done full speed and then downward punch is done with explosive power.
step up, grasp root tail, step up, three ten like clouds. So it's in this last section of the Tai Chi form that it gets much more dynamic and explosive. From here, going down, come up, punch. Step back, ride the horse, turn. Here, this uh, kick is similar to crossing the Wallerly kick. Here and a shoot tiger with bow. So that's where the movements get more dynamic. And then the pace comes back to slow again for grass bird tail. To the end. So it's kind of more in that last uh, section where the form kind of gets uh, more dynamic and shows the how being is free to do it. Uh, again, as I said in the beginning, to keep the flavor of the original form, um, that's the way I would suggest keeping the Fajin and explosive power demonstration to just those particular moves as we did in Portsmouth Square. You and your own for yourself can do, it, uh, you know, put the power in anywhere in, in, in any of the moves, but uh, for demonstrating his style of Tai Chi, um, that's the way that we performed it. So I hope that answers the question uh, about when to demonstrate Pa Jin. Thank you.